I think that the biggest difference that the art project has made is that it's put the uh, the Arran and Rother on the map and uh, river restoration and wildlife on the map and it's removed a lot of uh, really nasty invasive plants it's made a physical impact and a big difference. We've done a lot of work with the art project on riverbanks cle uh, cleaning and uh, removing Himalayan balsam. For me the best thing about ARC has been the cooperation between the the different um, societies, interests, birders, anglers, conservationists. It's that has been the biggest thing. The other thing has been the education. I've learned stuff that I've been able to pass on to kids, to adults, to all sorts of people about the balance of each thing that links together and I've learned that through life. They're doing a lot of clearing to encourage butterflies to um, move easily across the South Downs. We've also met some very interesting people who would not have come up onto our little patch of the Downs if it hadn't been for the art project. So it was nice to um, introduce them to our tiny patch. So we enjoyed that very much. And it's brought together different aspects of conservation that, that we've learnt about, which we probably wouldn't otherwise have done. I think it's getting a group of volunteers together to work together and enjoy the countryside that you wouldn't normally see. The difference has been clearing whole areas of, of Himalayan balsam and making such a difference. Just teamwork and team spirit goes a long way. I think it's kind of really opened out um, uh, conservation issues and um, uh, issues in particular to do with water um, in the area um, to a much wider kind of um, audience um, and uh, through participation in the different projects has really helped to spread that awareness and the message that there's lots of things to do um, in the environment. What I've enjoyed about the art project most is the fact that we've learned so much. We've had a diverse range of activities, things included some foraging walks in some places I never even knew existed. And um, we've also learned about butterflies. Has managed to fund uh, 12 um, ancient apple trees and little mini orchards we planted. Uh, replanted our new pond, um, wildflower areas everywhere and barn owl boxes, tawny owl boxes all dotted around our school now. So they've been heavily involved with monitoring some of the bees we've got on site now and the apple tree orchard they're really interested in because that's the future and the pond they can start doing pond dipping hopefully in a few years time once we get a bit more developed as part of their ecology lessons. But for local community groups and schools um, that it actually has helped them to facilitate and to enjoy their local environment. We've provided an education resource pack um, which gives empowers people um, helps them to go and find out what's there. The exciting thing is that not only has it been a three-year project, but we're going to carry a lot of it forward uh, with the Riverfly and hopefully the photography project and the photography workshops will carry on for many years to come. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, I think the most significant difference the art project's made is probably a sense of community. There's been so many different volunteering projects for people that may have never worked in conservation before or getting to work with the different partnerships that have gone into art. So it's actually got children out into the environment to visit places where they wouldn't perhaps normally have gone to and had experiences and given them great potential to learn and enjoy and feel for the environment and all aspects of it. It's just been an exciting experience which I've got a lot of enjoyment out of. Well the art project really has been um, ideal for us rekindling old relationships with old friends, has enabled us here as a team to look at our river in a slightly different way and to broaden the remit. We always do focus on the river to start with but now it's given us an opportunity to push it. Our children have had a different experience of the river. Our children have learned a lot of new te um, technical vocabulary, um, some of the history as well from inside the museum. They were very, very fascinated with that. Um, and the projects outside, they've, they've linked geography, history, science, all sorts. It's covered a huge range. It got me engaged in learning something I'd never knew about before and meeting most interesting people, hearing about their history. Of living around here. I think as a whole 
it seems the work itself has made this area more accessible for all sorts of people and also different opportunities for volunteering and getting people hooked on the countryside. I think it was always in the back of my mind that this is something that, that maybe 50, 100 years time people can go along to the West Sussex Record Office and find out about what life was like. For me, the biggest difference the project has made is how it's connected people with the environment. So it's brought together some key partners who are already working in the catchment and that's worked really, really well. But I think the wider commu um, community engagement and our work with volunteers has been brilliant and been great at engaging them and um, getting them involved in work in, in the catchment. Um, and the resulting legacy, I think, as well, is really important. The fact that a lot of the good work that we've done is going to be continuing and people are really engaged and interested and excited about taking that work forward.